Hello and welcome to my new video. Today we have take two of my sex and a pen attempt and for that I used a different bottom which is dough which is dough which is flour, sugar, one teaspoon of uh, baking powder, one little pack of vanilla sugar and of course some almonds because I love almonds I didn't put that into the recipe description because it was not in the original but you can add nuts or whatever kind of nuts then two eggs medium eggs then you're gonna whisk it together a bit before you add like 100 grams of melted butter not too hot because you don't want the egg to cook <laughs> and then when, once you combine everything to a smooth consistency Add it all into a pan, baking pan. And make sure it's a no non-stick pan. If it's not, put some butter. On it. Then, um spread it evenly so it's all the same thickness before you put it in the oven by 175 degrees celsius for 20 minutes and once it's done take it out and let it cool okay now the second layer which is whipped cream that you whisk until you see the little peaks or until it's stiff And once that is done, you take the cream cheese and the sugar and mix those two together to like a nice creamy consistency though, so the sugar is not visible anymore. There. Nom nom. And yeah, I used 0.2% uh, fat cream cheese because that thing is so heavy <laughs> I wanted to save on some calories <laughs> same with the whipped cream the whipped cream is only 19% and the butter I used is only 19 um, the other stuff was normal stuff yeah <laughs> they whisk it with a whisk And when it looks like this, you grab your whipped cream and fold it under the whipped cream slowly because you don't want to ruin the texture. At first I used the whisk but then I decided to use a spatula. Once that's done, 
put it in the fridge to let it cool. I would suggest like 30 minutes, 30 to 45. During that time your cake should be ready, the bottom. Take it out of the oven and let it cool for as long as that stuff needs to cool. So this is the vanilla and chocolate powder and each pack is with uh, 300 milliliters of milk. Combine them like thoroughly, you don't want any, want any lumps in the whole mixture, so stir for like 2-3 minutes, set aside into the fridge, let it cool along with the whipped cream mixture, whipped cream and cream cheese. And once that is all cooled off, get your cake bottom ready to spread the second layer on top of it. Oh, let me tell you, next time I'm not going to use like pudding pulver or pudding powder because I'm more a fan of the chocolate cream thing we used, which is, it gets um, a nice consistency. It's not too liquidy or something. So next time I'm gonna use the vanilla version of that too because I think that you if you use that you can really make like a marble on top of it. A marble design. Because I like marble designs because nails. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try that next time with the same powder as the chocolate was. Okay, so that's the cake bottom. Spread the uh, whipped cream and cream cheese mixture on top of this. See that you have like the same thickness from side to side. Because it would look weird when you like cut into it before you want to eat it. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is, you know, it's gonna be eaten, so. <laughs> nom nom. <laughs> I had to. I had to. <laughs> yeah, spread it evenly. And once that is done, Put the vanilla and chocolate pudding cream in like plastic bags. Snip off the edges so you have like a little hole in the in the back so you can squeeze the pudding out. <laughs> there you go. Then put some blobs of each. Like around the cake the thing <laughs> I mean this version didn't come out as planned but it was yummy nonetheless because that uh, put in the vanilla one didn't want to comply with the marbling so <laughs> I was a bit disappointed but yeah there's always a next time isn't it <laughs> Once you're done with the vanilla pudding, do the same with the chocolate pudding or cream. Dessert, dessert cream, I think it's called in English. And spread it everywhere where no pudding or cream is. Thinking of it now, I should have left it like this. I don't know. Cause it was kind of cool, but eh. Yeah. 
yeah, then I use the fork to like try and accomplish a marble effect, which the vanilla pudding was like, nah, -uh, not with me. But yeah, once you're happy with your <laughs> design, whip some more cream. Because that's going to be the last layer of the whole thing. And let me tell you, it is so yummy. And don't over whisk uh, the cream, you don't want to have butter. Oh yeah, and if you want the whipped cream to be sweet, add some normal sugar if you want, or like me, use some fake sugar. I think it's called sweetener. <laughs> and then whisk until you have the right consistency of whipped cream. And then, once it's done, wait a bit. <laughs> Spread the whole thing on top of the whole thing. I'm saying whole a lot. But yeah, anyway. If you want, make a design out of the whipped cream, like ways or, I don't know, like a fancy baker. Since I'm not, I just spread it on top, evenly, and, um, oh yeah, make sure it's the same-ish thickness, so it doesn't look wonky in the end, but, yeah, once you're done, you can sprinkle decoration on it. I used, um, chocolate chips and hazelnut crispy thingies. I don't know how you call them in English, but they're yummy. They're crispy. <laughs> to like make it pretty. pretty. <laughs> if you want, use something else. I don't know. You could make like, I don't know, chocolate roses or whatever your heart desires. Design it how you like it. Nom, nom, nom. It was really yummy. Really. I really like the different bottom, which is a normal, real cake dough. I really, really like it. The, the original one is like a crispy kind of thing, which is not really my thing. <laughs> so, yeah, no. But, if you like this, like, feel free to comment, and subscribe, and if you want to share it, I mean, helps. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave pictures on the end of this, one, one full, and one where I cut into the thing, so you see the layers. And then like from one piece so I hope you liked it 
and until the next time, have fun and take care. Bye.